As you know, many of the lessons, assignments, quizzes, require you to show work for many of the questions. When the show work box appears, you have several options. You can enter your work using the math expressions button or the text button if you want to just type out your steps. But perhaps the most useful button in the menu is the draw button. The draw button, it looks like a pencil and actually is a pencil. And with the draw button, you can actually write your steps. If you notice the drop down menu, you can change the thickness of the pencil. So I just left it at three. And if you make a mistake, here's the eraser right beside it. Now, if you want to change the font color, you can go over here while you're writing your steps. If you want to put one particular step in a different color for emphasis, you can come over here and change the color. Now, let's look at the question. We have to solve for P and check. So the first step is to distribute. So what we'll do is take, bring down negative 22P. And again, this does not have to be perfect, just legible. Negative six times two will give us negative 12. And negative 6 times negative 5p will give us a positive 30p. Equal to the other side, we have 4p minus 8. All right, now the next step, left-hand side, combine your like terms. So negative 22p plus 30p will give you 8p. So we have 8p minus 12. Bring down the right-hand side. Now, we're trying to get the letter P on one side or the other. Let's move 4P to the left-hand side. Right, we need to subtract P from both sides. So I'm just going to choose a different color to show what we subtract to both sides by. So we'll subtract 4P from either side. So over here, we have 4p minus 12 equal to negative 8. Now let's say you make a mistake along the way. No big deal. Go up here to the eraser and click on it. And you might need to change the size of your eraser. So I'll just choose a smaller eraser and just erase my number here and start again. Now to get back to the pencil, you just click on the pencil again. And now we can put the right number, negative 8. Now to finish solving this equation, you would need to add 12 to both sides. So we'll add 12. So we have 4p equal to positive 4. Now to solve for p, divide both sides by 4.
therefore p is equal to positive 1. Again, if you make a mistake along the way, you can go up to the eraser and click on it and erase what you need to. Or let's say you did the whole problem wrong and need to start over. So you just click on the largest eraser at the bottom and just start erasing everything. You could also do this for lessons if you got a question wrong and you need to attempt another question. Make sure that you include the correct work for the current question. So this is how to use the draw tools and eraser tool in the show workbox.